Madagascar is like nowhere else on Earth. Its forests are home to thousands of species, many of which are found only here. But over time, 90% of the original forest has been destroyed to make way for agriculture. Now, the remaining forests and their inhabitants are under threat. A forest conservation leader, Rabari Desire, is the first local resident to establish a protected area in the north of Madagascar. The land for the reserve was purchased with his own hard-earned money. And Tana Tiambo, meaning on the high hill, provides a safe haven for wildlife. But even here, there is continuous pressure from a growing human population. Working as a guide in Marajeji National Park, Rabari played a crucial role in the development of research on the critically endangered silky sifaka. He has an encyclopedic knowledge of plants and animals. He never went to school for this, but learnt by extensive reading, fueled by a genuine passion for wildlife. He can identify plant species just by taste and has personally tasted almost every one of the hundred types consumed by silky sifakas. Now Rabari is one of the world's leading authorities on this critically endangered lemur, which is the flagship species of the entire region. Using money he earns as a silky sifaka research assistant, Rabari buys up land in order to protect it. Years of work have culminated in the establishment of his own small private nature reserve. Only Antanetian Reserve harbour some biodiversity like trees and animals. With that protection, everything, all things disappear here. They have cut all around here for firewood, for uh, construction wood and for other things also. This place is special because the inhabitant in Andapa Basin is 750 per square kilometers, considered very high density, and almost no trees. All are transformed into rice field or village. So, trees are protected and the animals are protected. My target is to increase the size of the protected area, so plants and animals will have more places. Rabari is very outspoken and has not been afraid to confront and investigate the illegal rosewood logging crisis, which threatens the most biologically diverse areas of Madagascar since the political turmoil began in January 2009. Well, I've known Rabari Desiree for about 10 years, and he is truly an inspirational person. Without his help, assistance, and advice, our Silky Safaka project would never have gotten off the ground 10 years ago. He knows more about what's in these forests than anyone I have met here in 10 years. He can tell you scientific names for plants, animals, insects, you name it, he has something to say about it. Antana Tiamo has tremendous potential. It's a symbol of what one person can do. But it sends a very powerful message. When someone starts buying up land, and they're not cutting it down, and they're interacting with the schools, and they're bringing children there, and tourists start to come, and money starts to flow towards these communities, it sends a message. Against all odds, Rabari Desiree has tirelessly worked to conserve his country's threatened biodiversity. A small island of forest in a sea of rice fields. And Tana Tiambo stands as a symbol of hope for the future of Madagascan rainforest conservation. For outstanding island environmental achievement, the 2010 Seacology Prize is awarded to Rabari Desiree of Madagascar.